Este no es un video más de cómo llegar y qué hacer en un sitio espectacular, concretamente en este punto llamado Blue Pool Wash entre Utah y Arizona. También es un video de cómo enfrentar miedos muy arraigados, concretamente el miedo a las alturas haciendo rappel, es decir, agarrando el toro por los cuerpos. Bienvenidos nuevamente a mi canal, esto es Vieja que Viaja y estoy en un sitio poco particular Un cañón que es súper, súper estrecho, uy, de hecho, de verdad, le toca a uno como ir caminando de lado Pero se llama, ¿cómo se llama? How do you say the name? Canyon Slot Candy Blue Pool Wash Bueno, allá está Tyler Compañero de esta aventura Salimos nuevamente del pueblo de Canab en Utah que ya les mostré en el video pasado y de allí fuimos al punto llamado Blue Pool Wash y que aparece en Google. Entonces desde Canab, Utah hasta Blue Pool Wash que también queda en Utah pero en la vía hacia el pueblo de Page en Arizona se tardan aproximadamente una hora según Google. Así es como se ve el puente donde tendrán que parar y de para abajo estará el cañón estrecho. Nosotros dejamos el carro muy cerca de la carretera y empezamos la caminata. Wow. Oh, right. It's amazing. It's beautiful. I'm gonna take a picture. Of course I want picture. <laughs> What a question. It What is. a question. <laughs> Primero empezaron las bajadas no muy altas y usando únicamente nuestro propio cuerpo. So you can feel how secure it is. I'm you got this. You got this. And I'm right here, and I'll totally watch you. You got this. You'll keep your butt above this little lip mm -hmm. and scoot over, and it's really comfortable. Uh, getting over to this point, and then clearing over this is just a little bit of like loosening some of the pressure. But I'm going to be right here, and at that point, you can just put your feet down. But keep scooting to your right. Yeah, you're doing great. Now when you're comfortable, which looks like right now, mm -hmm. yeah, you can move your left hand and you can just brace it, like brace hard, push backward with your hands. Push? Yep, yep. What for? Like just press in like that and press with your feet mm -hmm. and it, it creates opposing pressure so it's going to stick you into that space and not let you fall down. No. So just, so now Paula, all I want you to do is hang out exactly where you're at. But lift your left hand just a few inches. See that? You're totally held up by your feet. Yeah. You don't need that rock. Okay, okay. You're totally good. <laughs> so take deep, slow breaths. <laughs> You're good. You're doing so good. <laughs> Keep moving. So move this one down to here. Awesome, awesome. Now you're going to come a little closer to me. Oh my gosh. A little closer to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I jump? Come toward me. Put your hand here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now just walk slowly with your feet down a few steps. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Anyway. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Come on. Perfect. <laughs> We did it! Look at that! Oh my god! Can I have some water? Yeah. Oh gosh. Very good, you pay attention to your breath. It's really important between each one of those things, like, oh yeah, I'm breathing <laughs> fast, my heart is still a little, the pretty in-between walks to like calm yourself. Yeah. 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 I'm calm. Oh 
Bueno, aquí uno se puede estresar un poquito por las alturas, sobre todo yo que le tengo mucho miedo, por cierto. Pero allá abajo tenemos un experto, vean, está montando todo el equipo para bajar con cuerdas de rappel. Así que yo simplemente tengo que esperar y bajar y calmarme. Tyler tiene una certificación en rescate técnico con cuerdas y además tiene muchos años de experiencia escalando roca y, y practicando este tipo de deportes extremos en cañones y montañas. Se supone que vamos a hacer una primera prueba antes de bajar el abismo. A ver si no me da un yello antes. Me explicó cómo se ponían las cuerdas, pero de los nervios no entendí nada. Y allá fui, me tiré por este pequeño abismo. Bueno, ya hemos bajado como dos primeros ensayos de estas bajadas en rappel, pero ahora está el más grande, entonces. Back a little bit and see that you're braked, like feel feel secure. Can we eat first? Before you move. <laughs> nope, we gotta wait. <laughs> Get to eat when I finally get down there. <laughs> <laughs> this one wide over there by those marks. I don't feel like this. Secure? Yeah. Are you sure you wouldn't feel better if you were sitting? Okay, let's try it. Okay. Be strong in your feet. Yeah. Yep, yep. You're not going there. Perfect, perfect. Now slow, just start lowering yourself. Yeah? Yep, you're good, you're doing it. No what? Okay, just keep lowering real slow. You're doing fine. Just whatever's comfortable is the right way. There's no right or wrong way. I just need to get up and turn. I you don't even need to do that. If you just no. want to keep your legs where they're at right now, you're doing awesome. Just keep lowering real slow. Take a deep breath. Slow <laughs> breath. Slow and deep. You're doing amazing, okay? Keep slowly, slowly lowering. Controlled. Mm -hmm. You're not going to swing or do anything crazy. Oh, gosh. You're good, no, Paula. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. No rock. It's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You're past the hardest part. Great. Just a couple more steps. And you should hit the ground. Woo! <laughs> oh, good job. Sobrevivimos a esta bajada. How many meters do you think it is? 20. De 20 metros. 20 metros. Y eso que es la primera vez bajando, primera vez bajando en rappel. Eso sí, primera vez, ¿no? Porque el otro ya lo había hecho en cascada. Entonces ahora ya llega la hora de comer. Al finalizar la última bajada había un cojín de conejo abandonado, así que me lo apropié. El señor nos está mostrando. Mud and poop. And so they make their house out of mud. They like get sand in their in their beaks, like, and then they patch and build these crazy homes. And then they poop all over them. So what's your conclusion of this little slot canyon trekking? I 
think uh, it was magical. You were very, very strong and huh. brave. Huh. You didn't get scared once. I got so scared. <laughs> Bueno, afortunadamente no tuvimos que subir por el mismo lado. Subimos por otro lado en estas rocas con huecos que son bastante útiles. Y vean ese super paisaje de allá atrás. Bueno, allá está el carro. Uh. Bueno mi gente, aquí se termina este video hey, Les voy a dejar el punto exacto de dónde comenzó este trekking en la descripción de... Si te gustó este video, suscríbete a este canal Recuerda darle like porque me ayuda a que YouTube lo muestre a más personas Chao